Good morning. Um, this is Providence, and um, I wanted to talk about people that are in construction, um, that sell building materials. Um, I'm realizing that, you know, something that just always concerns me is every time I go somewhere and I see a building, God, this, this could have been great. What, what is this? What is this thing they put here, right? The specifications for those who are accustomed to simplify design, modern aesthetics, you really have to come with your glasses on, figuratively, literally, um, when you're shopping in Ghana. I'm always finding a problem with materials. On the low end, you're dealing with salespeople, not even salespeople, how about GMs, general managers? I spoke with a man today named Quadro Obeng from NYC Construction Mall. And you know what was so sad about it was, I spoke with a representative from the company some months ago. I asked them very specifically because you see when you start shopping for things and you're not trying to make your house look like like a cheap factory in, in China threw up everything that you put on the house. You know, you have very uh, direct things that it is that you want. And I found it, it's so funny because he's not even part of the, like the lower level of staff. This is senior level staff. He was so dismissive. He was so rude. He was not helpful. He did not care if I had an understanding of anything on the website. And this is supposed to be one of the premier newest companies in Accra proper that you can get building materials from. And he showed me that you are going to need to always, always tack on another four months <laughs> onto your specification work to bring things in from the States or from Europe, the UK, okay, Turkey, because the concern that Ghana is going to continue to have when it comes to this is the workforce does not understand the importance of aesthetics, right? Now, I go on to say this, and I try not to do these videos. As you guys notice, I haven't posted any videos because I see a lot of things that I don't like. And one thing about Ghana, this is, this is, this is vendors, this is people you come into contact with. They can give you the most insults and you cannot have an opinion. The minute you have an opinion, they take it as an insult, all of a sudden you're blacklisted. That's what happens. This, I, I watch it happen in their media. People, they, they don't, there's no such thing as freedom of speech, right? And then there, and then there's a, a misogyny issue with women where you, you are constantly, you are constantly undermined in your profession. That, and, and you could take that statement as much as you want to take that statement, right? Because that's, that's not going into detail of a lot of the bad things that happen on a constant basis. I'm talking to people who work for companies, people that are job seeking, that sort of thing. But anyways, so, you know, this message is, is definitely directed to diasporans, okay? You are going to have to kind of just like take whatever they have, whatever you see, forget customer service. It does not exist here. It does not. Mm -mm. If you come into contact with something that is as close as possible to customer service, it is a business owner who really cares about making a sale. But 
Is there actually anything like customer care, follow-up? How did this work for you? Is there a way that I could do this better? Is there something that I can look for for you? Because remember, these are the vendors. These are the people that are on the global marketplace, right? If they purchase something to sell in their store or their retail location, they have access to other things that they may not actually carry, but they can, they can procure it for you. And there is a major, major, major lack in that. Major lack in that major and it's just so unfortunate and this is why I personally my opinion does not represent anyone in Ghana or West Africa or whatever the case may be but I'm gonna tell you that be very careful about any high ticket house you purchase in Ghana any because a, more than likely, they're not built well. They're not built well, okay? Just the chemistry of understanding what cement is, that is lacking. Nobody thinks about how it's gonna, how it's gonna perform long-term. I have spoken to countless developers and it's like information just goes in one ear and not the other. Nobody cares about making sure things are done correctly or that there's longevity in whatever it is that they're doing. And the diaspora that is desperate to just secure a house, right? They are not realizing that they're making a bad investment. Now, specifically to people that understand um, American commerce and how the market goes, one of the greatest depreciating items you could purchase in America is a car, right? I Many you finance a car, that means you're buying in to something that is actually is gonna basically drop to half of the almost half of the value the minute you drive off the lot. That's a house in Ghana. Isn't that unfortunate? It's so unfortunate. It's so unfortunate because this is not like you're paying Ghana prices. Oh no, no, no. These houses are like 300 k USD and up. And I have yet to find one where I could see, yeah, they, they spent a solid 40,000 in materials to build this. Mm -mm. It is the worst investment you can, you can truly make. The only way you can make an investment actually be worth it in Ghana, in my opinion, is that you are building a house from scratch you are using a reputable, knowledgeable builder. You yourself, or you've hired someone to do the, the, the main building specifications, the things that go into the building before finish, finished materials, okay? And that person can also help you with the finishing materials. That's just the fact of the matter. And if somebody comes for me and they say all kind of bad things, listen, argue with your ancestors. I don't care because the fact is the fact and the truth is the truth, right? We have gone as a society where everything is about bamboozling. Everything is about frauding someone. Everybody, everything is about cheating. Everything is about my dollar today. Everything is about dishonesty. Everything. Really? When someone comes with a loan that they probably have to go through all kind of hoops to get to even generate that kind of funding to purchase something, you know, of, of that, that price point, or it's their savings or it's their hard earnings from their business and you do not respect the buyer, that's where we've come to. I personally would like to see more natural buildings being erected in Ghana, but there is definitely a lack of great salesmanship, responsible salesmanship, accountability. It's like it doesn't even exist here. I can't even imagine that. And that is what I continuously run into and continuously find. Right? This is why the vendors that come from outside of Ghana, this is why they can command the market the way that they do. You can barely find like a great quality sofa and just be able to buy a sofa. No, most things you have to purchase on suite. That is in suite, that is furniture. 
right? That doesn't, that's not practical, right? We're not all living in hotels. <laughs> I'm not living in a 50 room hotel. I don't need to purchase 50 suites of matching identical furniture. And that's the reason that they can do that because they themselves are concerned about how they're going to ship into the country, right? But people that are actually selling building supplies, they need to make it their duty to know more about what it is that they're selling. It is very common here for you to run into a sales agent, you're paying them, they know nothing about the house. Nothing. They haven't even done a walkthrough at all. Nothing. They don't even know what, they don't even know basic names for things of a house. But they're the person that you got to pay to get a house, right? You go into a building supply place, they will tell you, no, ma, we don't have it. And it's not even only building supplies. This is a lot of retailers, right? You walk, you take your time and walk through that store. You might find something comparable or you might find the same item that you asked for. So now you're wondering, like, is there a comprehension issue? Is there, is, is it because they, they don't understand the English I'm using and they're not, and they don't possess the, the, the fortitude to want to be able to good at be good at what they do, they're not going to say, my, I don't understand. They're not going to. Ghana is also the, 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 the first country where I've been in um, where business owners work harder than the employees. <laughs> right? They're like nonstop. They're like, they're buzzing. They, they're paying six people salary every month. But they themselves, their health is deteriorating before your eyes because they are so stressed out. That's what's going on here. So purchase, buy, get, procure at your own risk. You're okay with the ugly Chinese door? Knock yourself out, right? And that's unfortunate. And I'm very sorry that I have seen that. I, I tried, I tried, <laughs> I tried my best to really, uh, like, okay, maybe that's just one place, uh, one bad experience, seven bad experience. Wait, you're telling me all? You're telling me that if I'm looking for something and I have an image of it, you're telling me that I can't get it? Right? So if you can't get what you have in mind, and you're getting someone's poor example or rendition of what it, th it is that they think you want. Like, what's the point? Do you, is, is that house really worth it? Right? When your property starts letting in water and things like that, and no one, no one thought about how to uh, properly specify what's needed for the house based on the conditions of the country that they're in. Is, is that worth 300,000 US dollars, right? Now you multiply that by five or six, that's what you're getting in Ghana CDs. Who was even seeing that money in their lifetime? So is that worth it? No, it's not. I think I, I, think I truly maybe only know countrywide two developers that I could say you could close your eyes and you could purchase a house from them. But the issue is a lot of them, they're not even making residential houses, like for single families. They're doing commercial buildings. So that's unfortunate. Purchase at your own risk. I personally think purchasing a house, especially a used house, it is, it is not worth it's not even worth half of what they're asking you. It's not. So if you're trying to like launder some money, okay, I guess you could put it into something duddish. But if, if you are thinking like, I'm going to get the most amazing forever, no, you will not. You will not, unfortunately. And that's, and that's just the fact of the matter, right? Um, I'm available if you have any questions. Even if you want to like, you know, cite your grievances, you know, I said what I said and my, my knowledge set allows me to say what I say. If you have a problem with it, that's okay. That's your business. I'm not concerned about that. All right. Have a blessed one. Take care.